Greetings and welcome to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel. So there have been some dimwits who've been commenting on my YouTube videos that I am the Terry Davis of mathematics. I mean, I can't think of anything more absurd than stupid people who are totally ignorant, totally clueless, totally incompetent getting on the internet and saying things which are outrageous, okay? So who is this guy, Terry Davis? Well, I didn't know about him till maybe a couple of years or so ago. And let's just look at who he is. So Terry Davis was a person who was mentally, who was seriously mentally ill, okay? He didn't just suffer from depression as I do. And by the way, I've never been diagnosed with depression. I have depression. And in my opinion, anyone who has not experienced depression is actually mentally ill. You, you're an idiot if you haven't experienced depression, if you're not currently depressed, because you don't realize what a mess this world is in and that <clears throat> no amount of logic, no amount of positive thinking, no amount of ingenuity on any one individual's part is going to be able to make a difference. Okay, so what I'm telling you is that uh, you're you're mentally ill if you're not depressed, <laughs> because it means you you're so fast asleep you cannot realize how wretched and miserable and how dangerous this world is that we currently live in and how close we are to extinguishing ourselves for good. Well, let's leave that aside. Now, <clears throat> Terry Davis experienced regular manic episodes. In fact, he was di <clears throat> diagnosed with bipolar disorder, in which you have these manic episodes and episodes of extreme depression. Now, every one of us, by the way, have a certain amount of... Uh, depression, well, not every one of us, only the idiots don't have, which sometimes uh, we feel absolutely uh, convinced that there is no hope. And other times we have some uh, positive attitudes. And at other times, we swing between the two, right, to a certain extent. So what I'm trying to say is that uh, psychologists who are the biggest morons on the planet and psychiatrists have taken <clears throat> a certain number of attributes which they have then placed into a category and stuck a label on the category. So the label bipolar disorder has a few, uh, has a few attributes or can be characterized okay, by periods of depression and periods of abnormally elevated mood. And there are several other things that go along with it. For example, wild spending. Uh, in a sense, you could say that I was a little bipolar when I gave all my money away and my uh, possessions intending to kill myself. You could say that was I was bipolar, but I'm not really bipolar. I wasn't bipolar. I had a moment of insanity in which I was so depressed that I just wanted to die and I didn't want to carry on with anything in this life. Uh, it's very difficult for me to find pleasure in most things. And yes, that's another characteristic of uh, people who suffer bipolar disorder. But it's also a characteristic of, to a certain extent, of all humans. There are days when we feel we can do absolutely nothing, and other days we feel a little bit better. Um, and it doesn't mean that we're bipolar because we don't swing violently between the two ends. We're not suddenly one day on top of the world and the next day on the bottom of the world. So this, this label bipolar means there are extreme swings. Okay. So in any case, we, we can't allow those group of incompetent morons called psychology. Psychology is not even a science. It's a pseudoscience. Okay. It's a pseudoscience. When you study psychology, you're not studying science. You're studying bullshit. Okay. Absolute bullshit. Psychologists are bullshit artists. Okay. So now, and by the way, 
they are mentally more ill than the, the people who go to them for help. How do I know? Because I've had an experience in my life where I had to deal with these incorrigible fools. So, no, I wasn't committed, and I was not uh, diagnosed with bipolar disorder or manic depression. I do suffer from severe depression, but none of the diseases that this poor fellow suffered from or that they were able to stick these labels onto him, schizophrenia, paranoia, um, and all these other uh, different categories of psychological diseases, okay? So, and yes, I have been homeless too, but I've never been incarcerated. I've never once been in trouble with the law, you fucking morons. Not once. I've lived in many countries, worked in many countries, have never been arrested, not even once. Okay. Do you understand that? I... Mentally, I'm stronger than anybody else I know because if you could walk half a mile in my shoes, you'd be a very special person. You you wouldn't. You wouldn't even last half a mile in my shoes. So um, what I'm telling you is that there is no similarity between Davis and myself, not psychologically, not academically, nor in, other way, nor in any other way. So what he basically what he did was he redesigned his own DOS. I have not redesigned mathematics, you fucking morons. I have put forth ideas to fix it, okay? I'm not redesigning it. I'm telling you that modern mathematics foundations are a load of crap. The, the foundations of mathematics are not based on set theory. They're based on geometry. Whose geometry? The geometry that the ancient Greeks discovered, okay? So that is what I'm telling you. And the calculus that I reveal to you is not in any sense like Temple OS. No, there are no similarities whatsoever. Okay, I didn't reformulate mainstream calculus. I discovered an entirely new geometrical calculus. And if you've watched my videos and you've read my articles in academia, you'll see that I know what I'm talking about and uh, that most of my enemies love to stick these labels on me because, you know, the only way they can secure their current job occupation or their current jobs is to actually uh, prevent anybody else from showing how ignorant, incompetent, and incorrigibly stupid that they are. And who's doing that on the planet? besides myself, I doubt, I, I don't think there's anyone else doing that. I'm the only person pointing out mainstream stupidity and errors and academic ignorance and stupidity. No one else is doing it. Okay, so it's not a case of me having anything in common with this poor fella. Now, yes, I mean, he, he may have been a good computer scientist, and yet, yes, certainly it's no small task to... Uh, develop uh, any operating system. And how do I know? Because I was a software developer for over 24 years. So I'm pretty smart, by the way. I happen to be a genius. But I'm not an, a mentally ill genius. I'm very, very, very sane. And yes, uh, I do think about suicide every day. Will I do it? Probably never. As long as I am able to bear what is thrown my way, I can guarantee that I'll continue. And uh, I'd, I'd like to tell you that people who commit suicide don't do it because they want to die. They do it when living becomes too unbearable. Okay, so if I'm ever homeless again, yeah, I think there's a good possibility I will commit suicide. Because when I was homeless for six months, it was absolutely soul-destroying. There was uh, not a single day when I didn't think of taking my magnum 357 and blowing my brains out and yes i had it fully loaded with me all the time so i don't own a, a firearm anymore but i could easily get one i mean it's not a problem to get one it's just that <laughs> i'm not uh, the kind of person that would succumb to emotion before logic so my logic always overcomes my emotions mentally ill people 
usually don't follow logic. They end up doing something completely illogical. So, I mean, <laughs> yes, I do want to die, but I've got plenty of time to do it. <laughs> and I mean, this this world that I'm living in is, is the, the life I'm leading right now is not particularly a great life. Um, I'm living in the poverty belt. I'm living with very, very little money. And I'm trying to help young people who are being led astray by the fucking morons of Ivy League universities and uh, uh, the uh, clubs of Abel Prize and Fields Medal and all those idiots and all the crap that you see on Wikipedia and on Reddit and on Quora. They've got an agenda. The, their agenda is to save their bullshit. Okay. When somebody like me comes along, I am an existential threat to these bastards. They know it. That's why they hate me. Okay. I hate them too, by the way. And if I could kill a lot of them, I would. Uh, of course, there's no way I could do that. And that doesn't mean that I'm going to kill any of them because I know what the consequences are. Okay. It would land me up in prison or possibly on the end of a rope. And none of them, the whole lot of them are like filthy scum from a sewer to me. Gilbert Strang, Jack Hazinger, Terence Tao, uh, Zelos Malum, Marcus Cliver, Jean-Pierre Massage, that massive piece of shit from France who was all over Matt. They're all fantastic scum, unbelievable, wretched, miserable, stupid people who've been attacking me for years. And yes, if, man, if I could destroy them, I would. I hate them with a passion. Not because uh, uh, they're uh, trying to save mainstream mathematics, but because they're just stupid, unbelievably stupid. And they're cranks. This is, they all have that in common. Every crank that you find in the mainstream cannot be convinced even in the face of overwhelming evidence. Have I been wrong in the past? Yes, I have been wrong. And I've admitted it and I've changed my path. But these fools do not admit error. Hmm. Think about that, okay? So, am I like Terry Davis? Or whoever this, whatever, however you pronounce his name, Davis, Davis, whatever. No, there is no similarity, okay? And by the way, I didn't get any revelation from God or from spirit beings or from anyone else. I am mentally very, very, very sane, okay? I know what's happening. Have I suffered a lot in my life? Yes, I've been through hell in many respects, which is all the more to my credit that I'm still sane because most of you would have probably killed yourself a long time ago. You're not as strong as I am. So you're the ones who are deluded when you say things like, oh, you're the Terry Davis of math. No, I'm not the Terry Davis of anything. I am the great, and I put great in there to irritate the fuck out of you because that's what I think of you. You're all shit to me. I'm the great John Gabriel. Remember that, you morons. 30, 40 years from now, you'll know exactly what you missed out by responding and by treating me the way that you have. There is much I have not revealed to you, and I will not, by the way. I'm not actually really a good guy. Uh, I hate to admit that. Uh, I try to be a good guy, but do I care about humanity? To a certain degree, I do, yes. I am hoping that humanity succeeds, but it's not going to succeed with the the shit pile, which is mainstream mathematics church of academia. Okay. It's not, it's not going to succeed with those fools. They, where has mainstream mathematics gone in the last 150 years? Exactly nowhere. I mean, you, you've seen hundreds and thousands of PhDs, which are not worth the paper they were printed on. I mean, if they were translated into, if they were converted or printed on actual paper, it would be too hard to wipe your ass with, okay? So, in conclusion, please, 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 I'm asking you, if you have any integrity, 
any even even a fiber of moral decency and uh, and honesty. Don't go around uh, pushing this bullshit. This is the kind of bullshit you, you'll find on Reddit, Quora, Wikipedia. Don't don't uh, don't do that sort of thing. Not on my channel. Not on other channels. I'm not like Terry Davis. Okay, there is no similarity whatsoever. Well. If you're not already a subscriber, become one, click like, tell your friends about this, and follow me on academia.net. I'm John Gabriel, and this is a new Calculus channel. Till next time, goodbye. So how do I...